I was using Everbee on Etsy, doing some product research, and what I found kind of shocked me. This seller is making 22,000 monthly, 58,000 monthly, 122,000 monthly from this seller, just on Etsy, just on this one product, personalized, customized necklaces and jewelry. So how do we sell this? How do we get to this point? How do we replicate this and actually sell these types of items, specifically for print on demand? How do we do this? What supplier are we gonna use? Use. Well, I want to show you Awkward Styles. I think you'll be really impressed. It's free to sign up for. They have over 180 products that are customizable by you and your customer. And I'm going to show you the easiest ways to integrate this directly with your Shopify, Etsy, or WooCommerce. I'm going to show you the personalizable jewelry that no one, not even Shine On or really any other suppliers, have access to at the moment. So first I'm gonna jump into the product catalog and just give you an idea of exactly what we're talking about here. So they offer over 180 products that you can personalize and your customer can personalize. However, I wanna focus on just the jewelry itself. So let's go over to the necklace section here. They have a lot of different styles in here. Some of them will look familiar. Some of them will look totally different, but the main ones that I've been interested in lately are the personalized ones. So in this case, the initial necklace necklace, the birthstone necklace. These are the ones that I feel like at the moment have the most value out of their catalog. However, all of these necklaces I am testing um, not only on Etsy, but on my Shopify store and with TikTok and Facebook ads. So I'm always looking for not only low cost for my print on demand products, but also a supplier that offers multiple options for personalization and upsells. So what do I mean by upsells? They offer not only the silver versions but the gold versions of these necklaces and then they also have three different box styles so one is just a plain black box with a magnet one is a leather box that snaps shut and then the third option is an led light up box so your customer is going to be spending more with you so let me use the initial necklace as an example i'm going to select this product and then i'm going to add my design in this case it's already in my library but if it wasn't in your library you would choose your file from right here and i have a better best friends design that says you're the Rachel to my Monica best friends card and essentially you want to make sure that you stretch it out to fill all of the green space but make sure that your text is actually not getting blocked by the necklace so in this case go back over to Canva and actually adjust this to make the text fit in between the chain itself so I'm not going to adjust it for the demonstration purposes of this video but for your own purposes make sure that you're text is not blocked by anything either put it over on the sides or put it up on the top so just make sure the necklace isn't in the way don't forget to scroll down and select all of the initial letters and all of the box types so this is going to create a lot of different variants we're going to create template going to ask if you want to decorate the back side of the card for now we're going to say no in the future you might want to include a coupon or something bring customers back for additional purchases we're going to say no for now and it's going to actually ask us if we want to upload it directly to our store which we do okay so now we can hit upload product and we will actually be able to upload this product directly to our store so i'm going to hit upload product our etsy store in this case and here on this screen you're going to be able to select your photos and basically set your prices and your shipping before you upload you're going to want to go through and select the photos that you would like to have on your product listing and then select the video as well so for etsy there will only be one video that you can choose be sure to select that and then there's also some additional model photos down here as well. So you're going to want to also optimize your title. Watch some of my other videos on how to put the right keywords in your title, how to format it for Etsy humans and for the Etsy algorithm to get more views and more clicks and ultimately more sales. You're also going to want to format this description probably with something like ChatGPT or with a pre-made description that you can copy and paste and change a few elements from. Make sure you have your keywords in there. Again, I have videos on how to actually optimize these then you can either enter your tags here for etsy or
or you can enter those tags once you've uploaded the product to Etsy. So it's not necessarily, um, you know, it's it's actually probably a little bit easier to put input them actually on Etsy. So I'd probably do that after you've uploaded. You can choose a so shop section to categorize your product. The main thing you need to worry about is your shipping profile. So if you do not have an existing profile, you're going to want to create a new shipping profile. And when you do that, it will show you exactly the cost for you and the cost for the customer. So if you wanted to offer free shipping, you would need to go in on Etsy and actually change this to $0 for your customer. Awkward Styles is going to charge you $5 for the US. And then you can see the other amounts here, Australia, Canada, UK. You can continue to go down and fill in the occasion and a few other details, or you can just upload the product and finish on Etsy. Etsy, which is what I would recommend. Go ahead and hit upload product, finish this on your Shopify store and your Etsy store once it's uploaded, and then it'll be optimized and ready to go. So I'm going to jump over and show you exactly how to integrate with Awkward Styles now. I'm going to click on integrations and it's going to take me here to this page. For Shopify, if you already have a Shopify store, you're good to go. All you need to do is hit the green connect buttons and you'll be integrated and good to go. For if you don't have a, a Shopify store yet, I have an affiliate link below for a dollar for three months. For Etsy, there is no upfront fee for Etsy. Only whenever you actually list an item, you'll pay 20 cents per item listed, but that only takes about 60 seconds. You can click the link here to get started on Etsy. And then once you have either of those created or your WooCommerce store, um, you'll just hit those green connect buttons. You'll be asked to confirm your connection. And once that's confirmed, you're ready to start uploading products it'll show up inside of your stores tab. So if you have any questions about that, let me know in the comments below. I have a free Facebook community. Be sure to join it. I'm giving away a bunch of stuff in there, design elements, advice, teaching classes. I'm bringing in experts from outside of the YouTube channel and just a lot of stuff that I can't share and I can't get quite as customized with here on YouTube. But if you're in the Facebook group, then you can ask me anything and I can comment probably within a few hours. So be sure to join that. It's absolutely free. And if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one consultation, call, whether it's about Etsy, Shopify, your Facebook ads. I have a Calendly link below. Can't wait to help you with whatever you need assistance with. And I hope you have an amazing day. Create something awesome. And I'll see you in the next video.